So now that my Dance Go Peace Dollar album is complete, do I just stop collecting Peace Dollars? <laughs> no way. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So, as a few of you might have watched my older video about completing this Dance Go album, you know, I thought I'd probably back off on the Peace Dollars since I got them all. And we'll put a link in the description if you ever want to check out the full video of where we pretty much took a look at each coin. And lately, I've been going to my LCS and still picking up the occasional peace dollar. And I just sort of, it's like, what am I going to do with these? Like, I even picked up this clean one the other day because he sold it to me for, what was it, 14 15 bucks. I mean, it's obviously been clean, but it's still silver. So I, I don't really want to take away from my American Silver Eagle budget. But when these things are so cheap, you just start, you know, buying them. And you buy them. And you buy more. And then you're like, well, what do I do? And then eventually you, you're like, well, maybe I just need to start a roll of them. And just collect one roll and onto another roll. I mean, I've got a roll of 1921 Morgan dollars. They're in brilliant, uncirculated condition. Got paid 350 bucks about two years ago for that one. So, yeah, while I collect Morgans, I'm trying to go after the dates and the mint marks and all the different ones. I still have one of them, like, bulk what I would call bullion rolls of, of Morgan. So I thought, well, why not do the same exact thing with the peace dollars? So that's my next goal on these is just start collecting rolls of these. I mean, what do you do once you got, you're got you done with the peace dollars? And yeah, do I have an upgrade or two to making this album? Absolutely. Like the 1934S, which is a rarity and condition rarity coin. I don't, It's probably the only coin in that book that I have in extra fine condition. Other than that, the whole rest of the book is mostly BU. There's a couple of AU examples, but there's really not a lot of upgrading to do to that book. So now I'm just, you know, stacking them all up. Yeah, so if you can get them cheap enough, why not? It's silver. So here's what I got so far to try to start my first tube aside from my complete set. And I've got an array of different condition ones. Like this one is, well, it's probably BU. I mean, it's pretty shiny, reflective. It's got a lot of its detail. It's a common 1923. I mean, common Philly 1923. And then I've got something like this in there that's a 1928. No, that's a 23 too. Yeah, that three is misleading. So, and that, you know, like, and then a clean one here. I really don't care for what this roll is going to be like. I just want an extra 20 peace dollars off to the side. I do have four or five examples of 1923 brilliant uncirculated that I keep in my own air tights because they're just so good looking. There's not a flaw on them. I don't want them in this. These are more my beat up ones. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Only nine more for the Generic one. Oh, that's right. This is the one I got off that coin collection. I bought off that guy. It's 1934. It's got a mint mark on it. It does. Is that a D? I think it's a D. Too bad it wasn't an S. Now, well, there you go, everyone. Just, uh, I'm still stacking the peace dollars yet, and I'll just start stacking them like bullion as long as that price is cheap enough. Right? Right. All right, everyone. Remember to like subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.